Let's go ahead and start a machine learning job. Basically, start with any previous parameter study files. I am assuming that you have already configured your parameters with the lower and upper bound. I also assume that you've already selected your responses. You've already selected your objective and you've already specified the lower and upper bounds for the constraints. Now, to configure the training data, let's go ahead and select one of these design types. And here I will go ahead and select 10 samples to evaluate. Um, these 10 samples will be the training data for the machine learning. In the settings section, let's go ahead and select machine learning. Um, you can have, or you can modify the number of additional NASTRAN runs to devote to the machine learning job. And now let's go ahead and download these new files. Once you have your new uh, desktop zip file, let's go ahead and extract the contents. And then after this, uh, inside of the file, double click on start MSC NASTRAN. And then the machine learning jo job will start. And then I think at this point, I will go ahead and just pause the video um, during the machine learning part of the process. Now, during the machine learning process, you will see the status page open. So that is this page. Uh, so far, we're evaluating sample three, which is uh, the third out of the 10 samples to run. After the 10th sample, that's when machine learning will start. The first 10 samples that we configured are going to be used uh, as the training data to create the regression model. So here you can see the second page, which is the mach machine learning page, which is tracking the best objective, uh, or rather the best feasible objective that's been uh, detected so far. And here you can see the results. Now for this example, you should get an objective of about 2.8. Uh, we should get this after design or after the tenth run. Uh, after the tenth run, this is the start of the machine learning part of the process. Um, you can see that it's found a better design after uh, the eleventh sample. Uh, keep in mind that there is a random procedure inside of the machine learning job. So when you perform this example you will get slightly different results. That's very important. You will get a different result. Uh, what's important here is that you get the same solution at the end, which is about 2.8 for the objective. And so far uh, we are at 3.0. Now we are at 2.9. Uh, as we let the machine learning uh, do its thing, you see that it eventually gets to a value of about 2.8. Uh, in better scenarios, you get to a value of about 2.7. Uh, and here, this is probably or pretty much what you get at the end of this one. Um, at this point, I will go ahead and pause the video and just wait until uh, the, the procedure finishes. Now, we are close to the end of the machine learning process. Uh, it's important to note the progress of the entire process. It's currently saying that it's in progress. At the very end, you should see a message that says completely successful. Uh, this indicates that the machine learning process has finished. Things went okay. Here we see that the, the best objective at the very beginning was about 2.8 or 2.9. And then towards the end, it arrived at a better objective of 2.7, which is the optimal solution. You can take the same example and run it through solution 200, and you'll get approximately the same objective value. And so that's how you go ahead and configure a machine learning process with the parameter study web app.